Good morning, church family. This is Christopher Donnell, pastor at Urbana UMC, and we're so glad you're joining us for Monday morning, our Motivational Monday videos that we do every week. Hopefully, uh, you feel a little bit inspired after uh, this short video to uh, yeah, start your week uh, in a motivating way. Um, I recently went to a Zach Brown band concert. Uh, if you're not familiar, he's a country artist, but really just an all around talent musician. And uh, he plays as one of the most uh, talented bands you could put together. Uh, and they just are a fun uh, concert. The, you don't really have to know all their songs to, to go and have a good time. Uh, they play a lot of covers too during the, the night and it's just a lot of fun. But one of their songs uh, that they did write, uh, they, uh, they have this line in there, it says, uh, we're all from the same boat fishing in the same hole and uh this is referencing to a fishing hole um i'm sure if you go fishing you uh you have your favorite fishing hole and uh, i'm sure probably other people may know about that hole or not that fishing hole and uh, uh for example the park uh, that might be your fishing hole a lot of people uh fish at the city park in urbana um but the whole point of his line was is that it's a place for everyone to come and fish and really what you do uh, at that fishing hole affects everyone because you're all from the same boat fishing in the same hole. And uh, so for example, you know, if, if I go to the local park and I go fishing and I decide to throw all my trash in the pond after I'm done, tear up the place and leave it a mess, uh, that not only affects the people around me, but it will affect me as well uh, if this happens time and time again. And if everybody does that, the whole pond is a mess and nobody gets to enjoy the fishing at the end of the day. And uh, I love that that idea that we are all connected and what we do matters. Uh, in 1 John chapter 4, 19-21, we read this. We love because he first loved us. Whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. And he gives us this, he gives us this command, anyone who loves God must also love their brother and sister. Um, and, and God really puts the correlation, right? Like how you treat the people around you is actually how you treat God. Um, and in that same sense, back to the Zach Brown line, right? Uh, we're all in the same boat, fish in the same hole. What we do uh, not only affects ourselves, but it affects our brothers and sisters, our neighbors, um, the people around us. Uh, so with that, you got to listen to that last line, right? Anyone who loves God must also love their brother and sister. So the key here, right, the motivation for today is love the people around you. I mean, that, that seems simple. Uh, maybe you've heard it a million times. You can't stop saying it because we don't do a great job of always loving the people around us. So uh, whoever is uh, in the same boat with you, fishing in the same hole, find a way to love them. Because uh, ultimately what you do affects not just the people around you, it affects your heart and your and your life too. Um, so take care of people, take care of your neighbors, take care of your, your relatives. Um, God's given people in our life on purpose and how we uh, live with them and love them well matters. And, uh, and God even says it matters how much we love God, not just uh, our neighbors. So the motivation this week is love your neighbors because it's also loving God. See you next week.